In the last section, we created a new reusable button component and hooked it up with the touchable opacity tag. The touchable tag of all types are used for just two purposes. Remember, providing some feedback to the user that their tap was registered and also giving us the ability to respond to these taps, like to run a callback or run some code where we can do something whenever the user taps on the button. So at this point, we haven't done anything around handling user input. So in this section, we're going to hook up a click event handler that's going to watch and listen for whenever a user taps on our touchable opacity right here. I hope that you're uh, prepared for some typing though. Uh, really quick, we're gonna add on some styling to our button. It's pretty darn ugly right now. And in fact, it looks absolutely nothing like a button. So we're gonna take a little bit of time to add on some styling for our button and then we'll take care of that event handler. So you know what we do whenever we do styling, we add a new object beneath our component, call it const styles, and I'm going to give it a property of button style. So let's get started. First off, we're gonna add a rule of flex one. Remember, flex one means I want this button to expand to fill as much content as it possibly can. Next, we'll apply an align self style of stretch. Align self is a, a property tied to Flexbox. So if you remember, we have align items. Align items is when a container tells all of its children that it needs to position all those items in some fashion. The align self rule, however, is when we want this element to position itself using Flexbox rules. So align self stretch is gonna specifically say stretch to fill the limits of the container. Next, we'll assign a background color and then we're going to do some borders so we'll do a border radius of five this will give it nice very rounded borders we'll do a border width of one and a border color of and you are gonna have to write this one down 007 AFF this uh, blue color right here maps up pretty nicely with the iOS blue so our button is going to look kind of like a iOS button Next, we'll have a margin left of five and a margin right of five. And again, this is just to make sure that our button doesn't actually kind of butt up against any other borders or line work or text or anything like that. So let's destructure that button style property into our component and then apply it to the touchable opacity tag. So inside of our component, we'll destructure button style from styles and then we're going to apply it to our touchable opacity. Cool. Next, I wanna do just one more quick property. I wanna add on some better styling for our text right here. You know, as it stands right now, the text is just black and white, might as well just be Times New Roman, right? For what we saw in the simulator. So it'd be really nice if the text also looked a little bit more button-like. So we'll add in a couple of properties for the text as well. In our styles object, I'm gonna add a text style. I'm gonna give it, again, an align self. That's going to center the text inside the button. We'll give it the same color of 007 AFF, a font size of 16, and then we're gonna give it a font weight. Font weight is for specifying the boldness or I suppose thinness of a text element. So we will specify a font weight of 600. that will be pretty deep on the edge of font when it comes to boldness. So it's definitely gonna appear to be some pretty bold text. Next, we wanna make sure that the uh, text is not really squished by the border on the touchable opacity. You know, we wanna have some space above and below the actual text element to make this thing really look like a button. So we'll give it a padding top of 10 and a padding bottom of 10 as well. And then just like we did with the button style, we will also destructure the text style out. And then we'll apply that to our text tag. So style of text style. And then as a final bit of just stylistic concern here for my code, I'm going to new line the text tag just to make it a little bit more legible. All right, so let's refresh this in the simulator now and see if we can't do something better than this click me text. So we'll refresh and all right, hot dog. <laughs> that is looking pretty darn good. That's definitely looking good. And you'll notice that when we click it, 
Oh, I still got a little bit of lag in my simulator. There we go. When we click it, the button fades nicely. That means that whenever our user presses on this button when they're using the application, they will know, oh, okay, something like, you know, something is happening here. My, my press was registered. I, I expect my app to do something now. Okay, this looks fantastic. I'm really happy with it, but we still do need to make sure that we handle a press event on the touchable opacity. So let's take care of that inside the next section.